we have this really <laughs> we have this really really funny uh clip here from again another example of uh the maybe the the dams are bursting at the seams and people are having enough of covid19 lockdowns and people are sort of rebelling this is really funny video of a, a rave that took place in the uk over the weekend featuring wave uh, michael bibby and archie hamilton again the business techno crews uh, or tech house crew so it's harder it's easier to basically point your fingers and laugh at them and sort of like get angry and have a negative reaction to what they're doing the video itself is jokes because again it kind of you know there's no amount of money that would you you would pay me to go to a party like this especially during covid the last thing i want to listen to to break my sort of like uh going out uh you know yeah, to, 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 the last thing I'd want to do to kind of break my going out duct was to go to a tech house party. But hey, look, look, look at this. You can just smell the cat in the air, innit? For me, I, this is not worth to break quarantine for, but the smiles on the faces, the joy, the, you know, the acceptance for the rule breaking. It, it's, it, 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 it somehow warms my spirit somewhat. <laughs> Video behind the booth for people. Playing. Loads of, loads of overuse of filters. Hands in the air. Dilated pupils. Cat spoons. You know the vibes. Here comes the drop. Drop, drop, drop. And just looking at that, it's making, it's making me get goosebumps, man. There's nothing like going out, is there? So I get it. But again, the reaction has been somewhat negative. And this response underneath made me burst out laughing. So Business Techno went and uploaded some tweets, screenshots of people that were at the event and um, lending some of their uh, views as to what went down. Now, of course, the issue at hand is obviously the fact that this crowd of people especially the tech house scene they're very social they're very social media native right uh, social media has been a very integral part in kind of boosting a lot of their profiles allowing them to wide, reach a wider audience making people go from you know uh weekend pub dj goer to a festival act in no time they really use social media really well it can get a bit cheesy and really corny but i respect it but there's also an aspect of them you know so addicted to kind of showing off that they're playing in places that it kind of was counterintuitive that they would allow people to take videos at an event that shouldn't be happening an event that's essentially illegal that's essentially what kind of fucked them over in that respect and um some of these accounts are super jokes because it goes to show just why some of this stuff could be problematic so business tech they'll put up a screenshot of some people that have attended look at some of the responses of what was going down one this this girl Demi Murphy says, I've seen some weird things last night, but seeing Richie Ahmed do a line of somebody's actual bald head made my actual head fall off. <laughs> and it's funny as well when you consider the legend of Richie Ahmed is that supposedly, allegedly, he was what the connect or the dealer of that whole crew of people that were coming up, right? The Jamie Joneses. I forgot what that what, what that label was at the at the at the heyday during like the late. 2005 2008 period and then he kind of just started practicing playing in one of their homes and then suddenly turned into a touring dj and overnight but he came into the game being the sort of connect right the guy that was lacing everybody with ketamine or something allegedly that's what i've heard throughout the scene so hearing that is jokes and you know again it goes to show just why some people think some of these events should be happening because once they do get an opportunity to put on a part instead of being somewhat um somewhat careful about the things that they're doing and kind of maybe avoiding some of these um you know obvious acts of debauchery they go they lean right back into these things and this kind of maybe is a, a, an indicator of what they actually miss out of going out is more so the 
copious amounts of drug taking as opposed to the actual music and whatever it may be. But hey, who, who's the judge? We continue on another screenshot. It says here, Archie Hamilton and wife last night was super stuff. Yeah, another girl says getting so jealous seeing people's tweets. Um, another one said I went from fine dining to wife B to B Archie warehouse bits real quick. As if an Archie turned up, that was a warehouse rave last night. Wife and Archie did it there. Cannot get over how good the rave was. Fuck me, that was needed. God bless wife and Archie Hamilton. I don't know how they put that thing on in London warehouse. Big up them. And she says, it's, uh, Alicia says, um, these illegal raves are looking sick, but bringing everyone back together. But if you do, please remember to protect the artists and and, and are playing and the videos you post online. I've seen loads. Okay, cool. Uh, some tweet here says the following: seen loads of shit being dished out on social to those who played by the bedwetters. <laughs> I love that term, bedwetters. I think there should be no camera phone rule because people can't be trusted not to post footage online, and the rap bastards are tagging in the axe and the Met Police asking them to respond. Which is yeah, that's a scummy part. I think if people want to go out and rave and you're against it just be against it going out there and ratting people in fobbing them into police is some nonsense behavior there's no need to do so um whatever karmic whatever virus karmic energy is meant to do to come to them will come to them in some way shape or form we don't need you adding to it that's my opinion that one another screenshot it says solado point us in the direction of the next illegal rave that one last night looked proper so everyone's basically had enough it seems like but all intents purposes people want to go out there and rave and i think we're going to see a lot more of these things happening in the next few weeks personally i don't think this is this is de this is definitely not the end of this matter I, I definitely see more places deciding or more people deciding that they've had enough and they want to go out there and kind of throw their hands in the air and get a bit crazy because you know COVID-19 is not going to take over most people's lives I think in the most regard of it but hey what do I know